LG had a lot to announce in regards to cloud gaming, and it appears that FIFA's coming back on Boosteroid. We're going to be breaking it all down in today's video, so let's dive right in and get to it. To kick things off, I want to talk about LG CES 2023 announcements. Along with their new LG OLED lineup for 2023, they announced a gaming hub that will be coming exclusively to those TVs. Sadly, LG did confirm that they have no plans on upgrading webOS version for older TV models. The concept of a gaming hub is something that Samsung's really been pushing a lot lately and it seems like LG's trying to follow suit here. It'll be your one-stop shop for cloud gaming on your TV, giving you access to game streaming services like GeForce Now, Blacknet, Utomic, and Boosteroid. Amazon Luna will be coming to the new 2023 TV lineup, but it appears that it'll be exclusive only to those TVs as of right now. And I'ma be honest, if Amazon Luna doesn't make its way over to the other OLED TV models from LG from two years back, I'd be pretty disappointed. I also think it's worth pointing out that there was no mention of Xbox Cloud Gaming, as of now it still seems exclusive to the Samsung TVs. And speaking as a user of Xbox Cloud Gaming, I think it's pretty lame that they're doing that. They should try and get that on every smart TV out there. More so now than ever since we know that Project Keystone is being reworked. Now on the bright side of things, GeForce Now is already available on 2021 and 2022 LG TVs running webOS 6.0 and above, and it was confirmed that GeForce Now will also be upgraded from 1080p streaming to 4K60 game streaming later this year on select models. I'll be sure to update you all once we know what models those are, but for now, let's move on to the next story and it revolves around Boosteroid getting FIFA back on the menu. But before we get into it, I want to address the fact that about 3 weeks ago I made a video discussing FIFA's removal and why it was a cause for concern for me. While I can't say that I'm still not concerned about the statement that was shared and what it could lead to, I'm more than happy to report that I was wrong about FIFA not coming back. I have little to no doubt that Boosteroid's been hearing a lot about it, every time I check the Twitter space all I see is people asking for it to come back. So credit where it's due, it's fantastic they were able to do that. You should know though that right now it's only available via Origin, they're currently working on bringing the Steam version back. Hopefully it won't be too long before that happens so everybody can go back to playing the game they love. But that's not all the news for Boosteroid today either, because they've just added support for Ready or Not which is a tactical FPS you should definitely check out if you're a fan of the older SWAT PC games. Be forewarned though, it's an intense, brutal FPS where you need to work together as a team with either the AI or other players. The game focuses heavily on realistic gameplay, authentic equipment, and offers both single player and cooperative experiences. Either way, that wraps up all the cloud gaming news of the day, I know it's a bit on the short side, but it's been quite the week with CES announcements. Now if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thank you for watching the video, I hope you have a great day, this has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.